Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And today we discuss uh, that uh, the, the, the borrow in, 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 the, in binary subtraction, right? In the previous video, we solved some examples uh, which had a borrow, uh, but uh, people got a little confused in that as I, I took it directly. And I'm sorry that I did not explain it over there, okay? So today we display explain it in a great detail, okay? What? Borrow, concept of borrow in binary, subtraction. All right, so we explain it today. And we explain it through an example. So let's say that we have one zero, we have, an, we take an example that is one zero, one zero, one minus one 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 I believe we we solved it in the previous examples as well but today we do it we explain we are explaining it in detail so one minus one we know is a zero but now for a zero minus one for a zero minus one I have to take a carry from the next bit because I cannot I have to take a borrow okay so I cannot because I cannot subtract 1 from 0. So therefore, this gives me a carry. Now this 0 becomes a 1, 0. And how is that? So this is what I have to explain. So this one, I've only taken 1 from it. So this is left to be 0. All right. And now I explain this thing. So this number, let's say I write it as a sum of its weights, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, so let's say this is 1 into 2 to the power 4, added with 0 into 2 to the power 3, 1 into 2 to the power 2, and then plus a 0 into 2 to the power 1, and plus a 1 into 2 to the power 0. So this is the weights. These are the positional weights of this number that I have written. Is it clear till here? Okay. Now what am I doing in this over here? I am borrowing from, I am dealing now in this, in this area. Okay. So now I am borrowing what? This already is a one. And I'm borrowing a 1 from it. I'm borrowing a 1 from it. I borrow this 1 to here. Now this 1 left out to be 0. Okay? So now what is this? This was a 0 into 2 to the power 1 from before. And now we have a 1 into 2 to the power 2 with it. 1 into 2 to the power 2 with it. Alright? Because this... 1 had a weight, had a positional weight of 2 to the power 2. But now we have a problem. One we have a 2 to the power 1 and the other we have 2 to the power 2. But this weight, this positional weight, this position has a weight of 2 to the power 1. So we need to write this 2 to the power 2 in terms of 2 to the power 1. So how do we write it? I can write it as 2 into 2 to the power 1. And the previous is, is as it is. So it is 0 into 2 to the power 1. All right, now what do you do? Now we have the position of weight 2 to the power 1. This position has the weight 2 to the power 1. So you add the 0 into 2. So you get 2 into 2 to the power 1 at this position now. Now we have a 2 at this position. And this 2 is in decimal. This 2 is in decimal system. And you convert it into binary. So in binary you have a 1, 0. All right, so 1, 0 is the binary equivalent for 2. That's why I said that whenever you're kept borrowing in, 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 in binary, the borrow is always a 2. That was the reason, okay? Now till here we're done. We explained this also, okay? So now, now 0 minus 1 is again not possible, so I have to borrow from this position. So this left out to be 0. It, I borrow till here. Now this is a 1, 0. We got the 2 over here, but what do we do again? Now I have to borrow again till here. 
So now this becomes a 2, this becomes a 1, 0, and this left side to be 1. Now we explain this also, okay? Okay, so now we're dealing with this part, okay? This part. So you do what? We've taken a borrow, we've taken a borrow from this 1, so this becomes a 0, and we have a 1 over here. So now this is what? 0 into 2 to the power 3 we had. We had originally 0 into 2 to the power 3. All right, and now borrow is came. So we add, the borrow is what? It's 1 and it's from 2 to the power 4th position. Now we have a problem over here again. This is a 3 and we have a 4. The position is of 3. So we have to write this as a, as, as a 3. So I can write it as 2 into 2 to the power 3. And the rest is as it is, 0 into 2 to the power 3. Now you add this 0 into this 2, so this is a 2 into 2 to the power 3. Now which means at this 2 to the power 3 position, we have a 2. And this 2 is again in decimal. So which means in binary, it is a 1, 0. Is that clear? So we have a 2 at this position now. Then we took with the, uh, then we took a then we took a borrow from this two to the next zero, all right. So so we took from where should I write it? I write it over there, okay. So now we have a two into two to the power uh, three, two into two to the power three, and we have a zero into two to the power two. 0 into 2 to the power 2. All right. Now this is for this one. This one is for this portion. I'm making it very rough, but I'm using the color so I believe you can distinguish. So now have a look. Now we take a borrow from this 2. We borrow 1 over here. Now this 2 left side to be 1. <coughs> This two left out to be one. All right, I've, I've cut it down and I've written a one over here. Is that clear? Now you do what? Uh, this this uh, zero into two to the power two we had from before, and now a one into two to the power three has came as a bar. Again, we have the same problem of a positional weight two and three. This position belongs to weight. 2. So I write this 3. Can I write this 3 as 2 into 2 to the power 2? Yes, I can. And I add what we had previously. Alright, so the 0 and 2 is added. So we have a 2 into 2 to the power 2. Now this 2 is again in decimal. So we write it in binary. 2 in decimal in 1, 0 in binary. Okay? Now this becomes a 2 and this is left out to be 1. And now we, we, we do what? We do the subtraction. So 2 minus 1, 1, 0 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is a 1. Now over here we have a 2, 1, 0. 1, 0 minus 1 is again a 1. Over here now we have a 1 left out. So 1 minus 1 is a 0. And this also was left out to be a 0. So we can neglect the leftmost bit. So we can write, uh, let's say write it over here, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 1 equals what? Equals 1, 1, 0. That's the answer. Now I hope the, the, the borrow in this binary is clear to you guys. I'll try to, to, to do this in when we are doing the octal and hexadecimal subtraction. I'll show you the borrow there as well, like this in detail. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.